Hello friends! How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. For today's video, I just wanted to do something super chill and fun. This is the Autumn Tag. I recently discovered the YouTube channel Autumn Cozy, one of my favorite channels right now. She just creates the most beautiful ambiance videos. I cannot stop listening to her Halloween playlist. It's just the best spooky sounds. Her fall playlist is also lovely with the sounds of like the wind and crunchy leaves and like apple cider getting poured. It's such a good channel. I will have her channel down below. Please check it out. It's giving me all the feels. But I was looking back at her older videos and she did a tag in 2017 called the Autumn Tag and I want to do it because I just want to sit here and talk about fall. It's my favorite time of year and I just think it'll be fun and chill. If you have a channel, I recommend you do this because it's going to be cute and fun and I want to hear everyone's answers. And even if you don't have a channel, I want to hear your answers down below. I'll have the questions in my description box. So leave your answers down below and we can just talk about about all the fall things and it'll be super cute and fun. Before we get started, I did film this look, of course. It should already be up on my Instagram as we speak. It's with my collab palette with Shroud Cosmetics. So lots of videos out for you with this palette. I'm very excited. The pre-order I think happens tomorrow, the day after this is going up on October 4th, 9 a.m. PST, 12 p.m. EST. Super excited, super nervous. I'm pretty certain it's gonna sell out really fast because the amount of love that we got, I did not predict at all, so. Oh, there goes that. The actual launch is on October 12th. It is limited edition, but we will continue to do restocks as long as there is a demand, and we're pretty sure we're going to be doing restocks, so just stay tuned. If you miss out on this round, there will be more chances, I promise. Also, my plugs are from Love Kills Boutique, and I do not know where this choker is from because I've had it a really long time. I'm very sorry. There was once a point in my life where I would just buy things, and I didn't have to like remember them for YouTube, so that's one of those things. Anyways, let's just hop into it and chat all about Autumn. Question number one, candy corn, good or gross? I like candy corn, I think it's good. I have a sweet tooth, I love me some sweets. Candy corn is yummy. As of this moment, I actually haven't even had any yet this year, but I think it's good. I wouldn't say it's my favorite candy in the world or anything. If anything, I'm more of a chocolate person, but I do like candy corn, I find it enjoyable. But the best ones are the little candy corn pumpkins, that's the best right there. I feel like candy corn is such a heavily debated topic. People seem to either love it or hate it. I would love to know what you guys think. Number two, if you could live in a place where it was autumn all the time, would you? Honestly, without a doubt, yes. I currently live in Florida where it's pretty much summer year round. I would give anything for it to feel like autumn here. It rarely ever does. Once in a while we get some brisk days here and there and we do get some cold days once the winter happens, but for the most part we don't really get an autumn. The leaves don't really change here. I would love to live somewhere where it's autumn year round and just see the colors in the trees, the breeze just feels a certain way. There's something about it. It's so special and uh, I, I would do that 100%. Number three, tea, coffee, cider, or hot chocolate. I don't really like tea. I'm not a tea person. I wish I was. I just, I'm not a tea person. I don't know if I've ever had cider. It's just not one of those things that like sounds the most appealing to me. If I'm gonna drink a hot drink, it's gonna be coffee or hot chocolate. I'm not a huge hot chocolate person. I have to really be in the mood for it, but I do drink coffee pretty much every day. I, I just love my coffee. I didn't even used to be someone that drank it every day. It was just like once in a while, but it's part of my daily routine now. I love me some coffee. Question number four, favorite movies to watch in the autumn? Everything Tim Burton. I mean, this list is going to be things year-round, but anything Tim Burton, all the classic horror movies, Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, The Addams Family. I really like to rewatch the Harry Potter movies this time of year as well, just because I love in the first movie with the setup of all the Halloween, like, feast spread. It just makes me so happy, and I feel like holidays are, like, the best time to watch Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I love watching The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. I love those old Charlie Brown specials. They make me so happy. I don't know. I guess like every Halloween or autumn related thing ever. Trick or Treat is my favorite horror movie based around Halloween. It's so good. Ah, the list goes on and on, honestly. I love so many spooky things. It's it's just my favorite. <laughs> Number five, what is your favorite autumn color? Mustard yellow, 100%. I'm even rocking it on my lips today. One of my weirdest lipsticks, but one of my absolute favorites in my entire collection. I love mustard yellow. I love olive green. I love like darker plummy colors, burgundies. I do get down with like a pumpkin-y orange sometimes this time of year. I'm not really an orange lover, but this time of year I can 
find some exceptions. Um, black, but I wear that year round, so it's not really an autumn color, but I feel like it suits those tones nicely. Mustard yellow, hands down, is my favorite though, with an olive green being a close, close second. Number six, what's your Hogwarts house? Hmm, before I answer, I want you to pause and guess what my Hogwarts house is. I'm very curious what you guys think I am. I know I've said it in videos before though, so if you know, you know. I am a Slytherin, I took the test like a billion years ago, and I came out as a Slytherin. I'm very fine with that, I embrace it, I think it's great, Slytherins are awesome. My husband Zane is a Gryffindor, fun fact. Number seven, what is your favorite burr month? So September, October, November, December. It's so hard because I literally love all of them so much. Literally September to December is my happiest time of the year, it's just... I don't know, there's something about it. It's just, I feel more happy, more motivated, more excited. Something about the air changes a little bit, even in Florida where it's still hot, like in September and into October, sometimes even November and December. There's just, there's something about it that's different. It doesn't feel like summer anymore because it's obviously not. It's, I just love it. Let me try to rank them. I feel like I would put October 1st, December 2nd, November 3rd, and September 4th. I truly love November and September too because I love the build up to the holiday. Like September makes me so happy because it's like the build up to Halloween month. And November is great because it has Thanksgiving and it's also the build up to Christmas. I know people get really annoyed if you decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving. I decorate for Christmas on November 1st because it's just that whole season is just holiday for me. Thanksgiving is all a part of it. I don't skip Thanksgiving. It's just all encompassing for me. I just love it. I love being able to decorate my house with all my decorations. Usually I decorate for Halloween on September 1st. This year I did August 1st because 2020 sucks and I wanted to just get a head start on it. But I just love being able to pull out all my decorations and I feel like all the best foods and desserts come into stores. <sighs> I just love it. I love it so, so much. Number eight, Halloween or Christmas and why? This is also painful because I literally love Halloween and Christmas both so much. Again, this time of year is just all encompassing, makes me so happy. Halloween wins by just a smidge. I love Christmas so much, but I think Halloween just barely surpasses it. I love all the Halloween movies. I love all the decorations. I just, I feel like Halloween just is more of me as a whole rather than just my favorite holiday because that's my favorite time of year to get like regular home decor and things like that as well, or even regular jewelry. Like I wear these bat plugs year round. Not that these came out for Halloween. This brand just sells like spooky plugs all the time, but I just love it. Like, I'm not gonna rock, like, Christmas tree plugs year-round, you know what I mean? I'll definitely rock them in November and December. I don't even know if I have any, but I feel like the October Halloween-y things I can use for a longer period of time. But I love both so much. If anything, I do like Christmassy foods better. Like, I love peppermint mocha, gingerbread. I do love me some pumpkin, but Christmassy flavors I do like a little bit better. But as a whole, I give it to October but only by barely. <laughs> Number nine, what are your least favorite things about fall? I feel like the only answer I have is that once this time of year happens, it's sad because there's no more like build up, like, oh my gosh, it's almost here. Oh my gosh, fall's almost here. Oh my gosh, Halloween's almost here because it's happening. So there's no more build up. I really like when like it's starting and we can kind of see all of the things slowly coming into stores as far as decorations go. But then once it's like happening, they're already there. I've already seen them. So there isn't like new things to see necessarily. It's a very roundabout answer. There is not really very many things I dislike about fall. The weather gets a little bit better. Again, it still stays hot in Florida, but it gets better. All summer it like thunderstorms multiple times a day. So it kind of slows down <laughs> once fall hits. And I just, I do love that. But this is about things I don't like. There's really not many things I don't like. I love it all. <laughs> Number 10, favorite autumn songs. I don't really have specific autumn songs. I definitely play like the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack nonstop during like September, October and the rest of the year, <laughs> but especially this time of year. There is one album, it's called Real Talk by the band Man Overboard that always makes me think of autumn. I don't know why. There must just be like a memory associated with listening to it nonstop for the first time during this time of year, but something about it always makes me think of autumn, but it has nothing to do with this time of year. It just, it makes me think that. I don't, I don't know why. Other than that just like other spooky soundtracks you know what I mean Halloween things that's that's about it I don't have like a solid answer for that <laughs> number 11 favorite fall dessert I have one specific answer and it's those little sugar cookies that have the ghosts and the pumpkins on them so good I love them I know they come out with those like for Christmas and stuff as well and yes I also partake in those for the other holidays but something about the Halloween ones makes me the most excited 
Pumpkin shaped Reese's are the best Reese's. You can't argue with me. I love them. All the pumpkin things. I love pumpkin pie. It's so yummy. I feel like that's pretty much my answers though. Like anything pumpkin I'm down with. I like apple pies and stuff too, but Zane doesn't really like fruit desserts very much. So we don't really buy things like apple pie because I'd be the only one really eating it. And I like to not have an entire pie to myself. Um, so mostly pumpkin things and those cute little sugar cookies. And final question, number 12, what's your go-to autumn makeup? If you know me at all, you know that I switch my makeup up all the time. I don't usually repeat looks hardly ever because I'm constantly like filming new things for you guys and things like that. But as a general rule, it's just makeup encompassing those fall colors that I talked about earlier. Mustards, olives, pumpkin-y oranges, burgundies, plums, things like that. I feel like I do wear a lot more mustard and olive this time of year than usual. I wear it year-round again, but definitely more this time of year than anything. Like I always feel the need to bust this specific Black Moon Cosmetics Lipstick and Cider out this time of year. Again, it's one of my favorites in my whole collection, but this time of year especially, I love pulling it out. I guess an easy go-to autumnal look that I would tend to do is just like really big winged liner and big lashes and then a pop of like a statement color on the lips, like this mustard or an olive green, something like that. I do that sometimes if I just want something simple that I don't have to think about. That's a really just cute go-to way to do things. But yeah, this was the autumn tag. I think this is just fun. It's wholesome. It's chill. I definitely want to hear your answers and get the conversation going because I love this time of year and I'm sure a lot of you do as well and I just think we can have fun and just chat about it. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me an emoji relating to autumn, whatever that means to you. And if you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with Black Lives Matter. There's a link in my description box that will take you to resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.